Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to my build plate, the build plate, whatever you want to call it, that channel. So, yeah, if you've come here from my uh, 3D hub, the build plate, um, welcome. I hope you're happy with the parts that you received. Um, and you're probably wondering to yourself why my 3D hubs has vanished. For those of you who, uh, you know, even though I actually knew I had a 3D hubs, once it's back up and running, I will uh, drop a little link in the next video saying it's up and running. You can go and check it out. Now, people use my hub because, well, it's the cheapest. Uh, in the UK, anyway, it's the cheapest 3D hub going, I believe. Well, I say going. It's not actually going at the moment because I took it off. It's down. It's offline. But not for a long period of time. Just for now. That's all. Just now. Because I'm doing some modifications. Now... One of the modifications, I've done two modifications already. The first one was to the wire carriage. Listen to it. That sounds nice. No more grinding. Um, the piece of wood at the bottom was warped, so I stuck it in a, basically a big pan on the stove with water, and I boiled it for about 10 minutes, and then flattened it out and stuck it under the microwave to put some weight on it. Um, it sort of removed most of the warping, but it's still got a little bit of warping in it, but that was easily fixed with a piece of paper. Yes! Um, this belt has been replaced. I said it snapped, it didn't snap. I snapped it myself, I cut it too short and I couldn't get it on, so I had to order a new one. Uh, but that arrived. It's a better quality than the last one, and it's fitted. That belt, however, that's still the same one. Um, I, will try, I will try and screw the quality belt off again. Basically, the quality problems will show up. Can you see how these ones are like roundy, squarey things? Not quite right. And then if you look at these ones, these have got like a nice peak on them. Little focus. Focus. These have got like a nice peak on them. Nice valleys. Yeah, better quality belts. And they work, which is good. Cool. The bit that I'm upgrading at the moment. Oh, yeah, the other thing. I also upgraded this. It says my name. It says, hello, David. Ready? Yes. Ah, oh, weird. Actually, this this kind of a good thing because I updated the firmware on it, um, which means I can now access it and do whatever I need to do to it, which is a big thing because these threaded rods, and yes, they are threaded rods. They are not lead screws. They are threaded rods. Why they even bothered giving threaded rods to a 3D printer, I don't know. Cheaping out, maybe? Probably, but uh, yeah, they're not designed for accurate printing. They're not designed to be moving things. The whole point of a threaded rod is, it, is you put it in place and you lock it down with a nut and then it stays. That's what threaded rods are used, supposed to be used for. They don't move, they just hold things in place. So these are going because they're like really rubbish and they're causing Z banding and I'm not happy. As you can probably tell, from, oh yeah, I know the quality is crap on this, by the way, don't need to tell me. Um, I, it's a functional part, I couldn't give a damn. Um, as you can probably see, there is Z-banding. Obviously, you can see the layer lines, anybody can see the layer lines, but it's this Z-banding, this, like, yeah, this bumpiness, which matches the threaded rods, and I'm not happy about it. So, they're getting chucks in the bin when the new parts arrive. Um, I won't be ordering them until next month due to funding, um, but yes, uh, once the uh, money's in my bank and stuff then I'll be getting replacements for these which will be 300mm uh, threaded uh, lead screws with a 2mm pitch which will make home in the axis a lot quicker um, and these will go in the bin, new bearings on top, new bearings on the bottom as well, make it full on stiff torque cool so that'll be that fixed uh once the z band is gone then obviously it'll be going back onto uh 3d hubs and you can order what you like within a degree please understand by the way just i'm going to go into a small little rant here my build area as it stands is 200 not 210 as it states on the ebay it's 200 by 200 by 180 um the reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of people seem to think that they can get away with putting parts diagonally on the, the thing. 
most of the time you probably could but unfortunately due to the fact that i haven't got a heated bed which i'm debating on how to fix this because the heated bed itself works the problem is with, is with the circuit board there's two mosfets on it that are knackered one of them is a really tiny surface mount and the other is a big proper full-on mosfet um i'm debating whether to actually get a new circuit board or to get that one repaired still debating depends on which is cheaper i suppose probably getting it repaired but aside point um so yes I can't do things diagonally because of the heated bed problems. I have actually managed to fix the um, adhesion, well, most of the adhesion problems, because I've stopped using a piece of paper like most people do, and I've come into the 21st century. Yeah. And you're all thinking to yourself, what the hell is this guy on about? Yeah, I was kind of the same. Um, I used to be a mechanic, and I knew there was a tool out there I could use, but I didn't really think of it. Mainly because I thought it'd be too expensive. I'm trying to get it. Give me a second. I'll find it. Nearly found it. Nearly found it. Found it. He said. Give me a second. And I'm back. This is it. really thin this is a feeler gauge and this is a 0.5 which is about the thickness of a paper the difference between this and a piece of paper is paper well it deforms when you put pressure on it it deforms and yeah you, you don't really get the perfect level does that make sense the gap between the nozzle and the bed isn't always perfect you might think it's going to be the size of piece and uh, the thickness of a piece of paper but it's not because of the weight of it pushing down on that paper the paper deforms and you get different measurements on all sides using a feeler gauge however with it being so thin and made of metal i can get it absolutely bang on accurate so most of my prints now stick really well which is a lot better than paper so that's the modification size and that's why at this moment in time it's down off of the 3d hubs website it will be back on but like i say it will be next month due to the fact that i haven't got the funds to purchase the rod yet and i don't want to be putting it back on 3d hubs yet until i've repaired they well replaced these two parts once they've been replaced it'll be on the 3d hubs um i'll make a video on here for those of you who you know just need a little bit of update um so yeah I'll, what i might do as well i might actually show you how to replace these rods and um, if I can figure it out properly then what I'll do is I'll design new parts here and here and cages down here to hold the bearings and I'll put them on Thingiverse I'll also link them in the description when I'm showing you how to do it anyway catch you in a bit toodles have fun and I will see you in the next video bye